today we will see how to create a policy in microsoft azure okay so basically a policy is something uh, where you audit uh, or enforce a compliance okay so there will be a lot of uh, companies where the governance policies requires you to uh, you know adhere to a set of compliance okay like uh, let's say all your azure accounts uh, storage accounts should not be uh, accessible via a public ip so the compliance team can ask you for a compliance report can you sh give me a compliance report okay so other thing is that uh, where uh, you should not have any uh, vm in the, in your uh, azure environment uh, uh, where the disk is not encrypted that is one of the compliance uh, generally i've seen so these are different types of compliance uh, where uh, you have to add a, and uh, sometime uh, the compliance has to be enforced or you need to pull reports so today we will see how to create those policies and assign those policies uh, in azure or okay so to do that first log into azure okay uh, click on your resource groups in the left hand pane click on your uh, resource group this will give you the information uh, in the left hand side you can see under settings there is policies click on it okay under uh, authoring you can see something called as definitions click on it So here all the list of some of the default policies available. You can see uh, like audit VM that do not use managed disk. Okay, audit transparent data encryption state. All these are uh, default policies. You can enforce these policies. Okay, so if you want to create a policy, then scroll to right, uh, click on more, and click plus policy definition add policy definition so you here you will get the policy definition creation site okay the definition location click on this eclipse and select your uh, subscription basically so scroll down select a subscription click select give a name for this uh, policy maybe storage uh, accounts something like that in the description what this is going to do audit uh, all storage accounts connected to public network okay I'm going to create this policy and here you can give a category okay so I'm going to give a storage and below is the policy definition that you have to write this is basically a JSON code okay uh, you should have experience in JSON uh, code how to write this it's pretty easy the format is pretty easy so this is a code that I'm going to write. All uh, all these policies will start with uh, this tag policy rule. Under that you will write all your uh, codes. So you follow field type uh, Microsoft Storage Accounts, and uh, if field Microsoft Storage Accounts Network ACLS Default Action equals allow, then you audit it. Okay. So this will give me uh, all storage accounts uh, exposed to the public uh, network. So just copy it and I'm going to replace it. Okay. And we'll click save. 
so once you click save this will create the policy definition okay uh, I have already created uh, the, this policy definition so I will show you okay now once you create the policy definition you have to assign that policy for that again click on definitions okay search for the policy name storage audit storage account uh, policy click on it in the eclipse click on the eclipse you can see uh, yeah, assign option okay click on it assign and this will give you the assign window okay you can see the policy definition assignment name whom you want to assign all those things so first in the scope you want to see select where you want to uh, add this uh, policy definition to maybe you have multiple resource groups uh, each client has one resource group then you can uh, select the resource group and click select okay so this will uh, scope the policy only for that client uh, or that resource group okay uh, then again scroll down leave the rest of thing default and click assign so this will assign the policy uh, to that resource group okay so it will take some time for the policy to uh, give you the results uh, so this is how you create a policy definition so you need to know a bit of JSON code and uh, the once you uh, create a definition policy definition you just have to come here in definitions and assign that policy to which resource group you want okay i hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching